Well, hello everyone. It is me, Rachel Cross, and I am bringing you Art from the Heart. It is Art from the Heart time where every art creation we create is with a point and a purpose. Today we are going to be um, doing collaging and we're going to be making a little um, collaging board of things that we want in our life, things that we are hopeful for. So the title of this one is called Dream With Me. So there are such a thing as dream boards where you take um, pictures and quotes, things that inspire you, help you reach your goals, and you would collage them on a piece of paper and you would hang them somewhere to inspire you and to remind you. So this is gonna be something very similar, but it's a little bit different. So these are, we're going to collage over the things that we wish we could have, things that we want things that we hope to have someday. Maybe it's as simple as something you see in the store, every time you walk by it, you just wanna have it. You wanna have that snack. You wanna have that cereal. Maybe it's ice cream. I have no idea. But this is gonna be our opportunity to cut out the picture and glue it down on our paper and give ourselves some time to be able to dream and wish and just think of what are the things that I want. And I'm going to put them on there because one day I am going to get those things. So with that, I'm going to go over the supplies. Um, I'm going to use paper. So I have some pre-cut um, cardstock paper, but you can use any paper. You can even just use regular white paper for this. There's nothing fancy about the paper today. If you want to use, if you have printed paper and you want to use that as your background, that will just add more to the collaging process. And I will definitely go over that because I know not everyone is familiar with what is collaging, right? So I have scissors, I have glue stick. You can also use the white Elmer's glue if that's what you have available to you. Uh, you can use markers, colored pencils, crayons, even just a regular pen or pencil, whatever you have if you want to do any writing. Um, on mine, I do have some little decorative dots. Oh, and I also have some stickers that I put on there that I can show. I have some fun stickers that have food on it. So I started uh, looking through the ads this morning before I came here to do this one, and I was just so attracted to food. Oh my gosh, I guess like I really want food? I don't know. So what I did is I've been saving some ads from the paper. It can be any type of ads. We get a lot of free ads in our mail. So almost every one of us should have access to some type, bleh, some form of ads, right? Of grocery store ads. Um, they could be furniture ads. I even have some magazines that I brought. If you have any magazines laying around and you're allowed to cut through them and cut pictures. Like me, Miss Rachel, I love cars. I love hot rods. I love muscle cars, classic cars. So definitely, this is something I would want to look through and cut and put, um, I want to have a car. I want to have a fast car. I want to have an awesome car. So this is my opportunity to go ahead and do that and put that on there. I also have a fun little magazine that has all kinds of different toys in it. So many different things. And so there are a lot of fun, different creative things. So here's the thing though. If we don't have these things available to us, it is okay. We can still draw and create and use our imagination to do it that way as well. So with collaging, what we do is we collect these images. It could be even be words or like the stickers and we put them on there we put them on there close together. And so you want to fill up your paper by collaging all these different images and words onto your paper and fill it up the best that you can. If you don't fill it up all the way, that is okay. You don't have to. You can always leave room to keep adding more things later. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you real quick how you do this. So I have my paper. I'm going to look through the ads. I saw this again, like I said, um, I saw the ice cream and I love chocolate chip cookies. So there they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out and I'm gonna glue them down onto my paper, onto my dream with me, dream with me. It's fun to dream. It's fun to have, even if they seem simple goals, maybe it's just the toy that you see in the store or on the TV. Maybe it's something you see on TV right now. Maybe it's a place that you wanna go and you can't find a picture for it or images or words and you want to draw it on there, that would be absolutely perfect. There is no wrong way, right, to create art when we're doing art from the heart. Any way that you choose to do it is the right way. So here I go, I'm almost done. So easy, just use the scissors, cut them out. Now I'm just gonna glue them down. 
And I, I don't know if you can see it, but I do have shoes on there. Oh, I, I love shoes too. I probably should never buy another pair of shoes, but I'm going to. <laughs> I, I definitely love shoes. So I put some summer sandals on there because even though I have, I have some, I want more. And that's okay. This is a great place for me to, even if I never do get them, that's okay. I can say that I want them and put that on there. So here we go. I'm gluing down the cookies. And I'm going to glue down the ice cream. And remember when collaging, it's okay if you overlap, which means if one image goes over the other, or even your stickers, if one of your stickers get covered up by what you are putting on there, like I'm actually going to cover that up just to fit that on there because it is a little big. So I just glue those images on there. And I, I do suggest markers if you'd like um, so you can create and design around your collaging piece any way that you like. Uh, I like to do dots and triangles or squares. So I don't have to always fill it up with the images from the, the shopping ads. You're free to do it however you would like, however you are able to create it. So from there, I would just go ahead and fill up my board as much as I could with all of the things that, that I want, all the things that I like, that I wish or hope and dream that I will have. And so you can do front, you can do back, you can do multiple, and you can make one um, as in setting goals or to really inspire you and remind you of, of where you want to keep going with your goals and to reach them. But for now, I thought just even dreaming about all the fun things that we may not have access to right now, I can put them on here. So that is our activity for today, our art project. Um, I do hope that you are able to create this and share this with us on Instagram at hashtag Operation Stay Connected, and I will see you next time.